first question is, can I be sued for using my gun in the state of Oklahoma? Of course, the answer is yes. And then, does Oklahoma have immunity laws for protection of a defender in a self-defense situation? Absolutely. 21 OS section 1289.25 is that law. How does that work? Well, uh, does the immunity keep a lawsuit from being filed? Or do I need to have an attorney to get, get the case dismissed? The way it works is a lawyer has to be hired by you, the person who's been uh, e uh, sued in, civilly in the state of Oklahoma. Now, what if an innocent bystander is hit by my stray bullet? The answer is you will be sued just as if you'd hit somebody who is a guilty person, not innocent. Both people can sue you. But let's talk about the immunity statute found in section 1289.25, which is a castle doctrine. Under subsection F, it says that a person is justified in using such force and is immune from criminal prosecution and civil action for the use of such force. Does this immunity automatically mean that they can't sue you? The answer is no. Yes, they can sue you. The question is, is it the type of immunity that says you don't have to go to trial once the judge establishes the immunity? And in Oklahoma, the answer is no. You're going to go to trial, and the point of the trial, the object of the trial, is to decide whether or not the immunity is based on a legal justification. That's the point. So you have to go to trial, and then you have to prove that you're immune. Once you prove you're immune, then you're immune from damages, not from being sued and not from participating in a lawsuit. So you have to have a lawyer. And then as a remedy, the court shall award under section H, the court shall award reasonable attorney's fees for court costs, compensation for loss of income, and all expenses incurred by the defendant in defense of any civil action brought by a plaintiff, that's the guy who was shot or wounded, if the court finds the defendant is immune from prosecution as provided in subsection F. That's the section I was talking to you about just now. So, in a roundabout way, yes, you are immune, but it is does not mean like you're immune like from a virus, that all you need is a shot to, and not get the virus. You have to go all the way through, suffer the illness of being involved in a trial, and then when you win and are exonerated, you get to try to collect your attorney's fees from someone who might be a deadbeat, might be a criminal, or might not have any money. And so it is a good thing for you not to have to pay a whole lot of attorney's fees along the way. Therefore, it is a good idea to have U.S. Law Shield. And the last question I want to consider is what happens if a bystander is hit by your stray bullet? If a bystander is hit by your stray bullet, you can be sued. You can be sued for negligence, such as misusing your firearm, such as you plug somebody while they are trying to uh, stab you, rob you, or attack you in any, any way, but if you're a poor shot and you happen to misuse your firearm and shoot a bunch of bystanders, then they can all sue you for mishandling your weapon. So it's a good idea to have training and know what you're doing while you're defending yourself. I've also been asked about what happens if I shoot through somebody. Well, if you shoot through somebody while you're defending yourself, you can be free from criminal liability, and nobody of the prosecutor is not going to bother you. However, the person who is injured because your bullets went through the bad guy, whether he's dead or not, can still sue you if you use the up. Uh, it was foreseeable if you breached the uh, proper care of handling your weapon or of having a hand cannon instead of a mortar cannon or a small weapon that would still do the job and defend yourself. Everybody second guesses. Everybody's a Monday morning quarterback. And, uh, of course, the complaining party will be the guy who gets shot when you use your 10-millimeter hardball ammunition 
to shoot through someone at a close range and there's another guy standing behind him who's an innocent bystander. That's all for today.